Uh, hello, gentlemen. So great to have you on Zoom today. How's everybody doing? We're great. fine. Thank you. I speak for the both of us as always. Thank okay. you, Kevin. Please do. That's good. That's good to know. So Colin, I guess I won't be asking you any questions today. I can just relax. <laughs> Take it easy. Okay. Well, first of all, um, congratulations on this. I am a camp girl. I grew up, my, camp, my parents threw me out of the house when I was six years old to do sleepover camp. So I could- so you hate it or started to look forward to it? I loved it. I was a camp kid. Uh, my own kids, one of them was a complete camp kid. The other one failed. So you never know, right? So so Kevin, let's start with you. Were you a camp person? Oh, um, Colin, you can go away for five minutes. I'm gonna tell the story that I've been telling for the past right. interview. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had two camping experiences. Um, <coughs> Uh, when I was a cub, I'll try to add some lie to it to make it interesting to you. Okay, please. So, yeah. <coughs> and a rabid deer bit me. No. Um, and we put, uh, we, you know, you're assigned to a tent. Uh, my instinct is to add more detail to it to make it more interesting, Colin. <laughs> but it actually does the opposite, doesn't it? So we looked for an area for our tent. Uh, it turned out that we put the tent on uh, three or four things that I was allergic to. I didn't know I was allergic to anything like hay and dust. I'm allergic to cats. I don't know if there was a cat under there. So I had to be rushed out. Um, and I found out I was allergic asthmatic. So that was the gift of camping gave to me. And the other time I went camping, uh, this is a long one, Colin. Go read a book. Um, I went with the three math geniuses in my high school. Um, Inghen Goping, George Ganyu, and Lorenzo something. Wow, OK. Not, no, not Lorenzo Lamas. <laughs> no. <laughs> They were math geniuses and uh, I wasn't, and we went in and the first night I remember um, the raccoons ate all our food and then they used their math genius skills to make a levy system to pull the food up. Um, and then ironically, a few days later, I had to leave early because my mother drove all the way to Algonquin Park and told me that I had failed math and I ah. <laughs> had to go to math school. I had to go to summer school for math. So those are my camping experiences. I don't like camping. Okay, I, I, I got that from that story. That that's awesome. Okay, yes. so Colin, what about you? Is any you know any exciting stories for me, or is are yours just like you know can't top Kevin's? <laughs> so it's the Cuban Missile Crisis. <laughs> I I mean, um, I never um, no, I never camped. I never I was not a part of that. Um, my daughter was, yeah. and she uh, loved it. She was part of a great camp um near niagara falls that uh, was an arts camp she became a counselor uh, and i would go and see um just the joy she had with all these kids and yeah. um, how they became uh, great friends and I, I really thought i missed something so thanks yeah. mom and dad thank you yeah, yeah exactly always blame your parents always yeah. i was gonna say because there's nothing mm -hmm. like camp friends I, I have to say like i still talk to a lot of my friends you know i don't know over 40 years from when we first met what is it about that camp connection that you know i don't know what do you think kevin Paula and i would not know that no like, yeah i guess you got her around maybe she can answer that yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> It's a good point. Okay, so this film made me laugh so hard because there's just so much funny stuff in it, and you guys, of course. But it kind of gave me that meatballs vibe. Did you get that when you read the script, Colin? Yes, uh, that's what we're uh, going for. Well, we, I really had nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> Mike wrote the script and directed it. I think that was what he wanted. Yeah, yeah he wanted to do sort of a, an homage to the um, uh, uh, camp movies. And, you know, meatballs certainly is one of um, the favorites of that genre. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Kevin, how about for you? Because you know you're playing you're playing this guy, and he he he's very different than Bill Murray to, for sure. But he's got oh, a little wait, bit well, of that. Well, you wait. <laughs> well, you wait. <laughs> he's got a little bit of that feel, though. I thought. Well, yes. Uh, uh, Colin's heard me say this a lot too. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. How many um, interviews have you guys done? <laughs> I, even before, in between interviews, Colin and I hang out and I talk oh, about yeah, Bill Murray and my uh, allergy attacks. <laughs> Yes. Well, to me, it was a combination of Bill Murray movies. Um, it was Bill Murray in a summer camp. Uh, but he, but as I said, I couldn't really uh, use any of that because he's cool sort of in, in Meatballs. He's yeah. sort of um, That's true. Uh, like Hawkeye and MASH yeah. in Meatballs. Whereas uh, him in Caddyshack, Bill Murray in Caddyshack, that's sort of completely the kind of part. Um, uh, I do it differently because I'm not as good as Bill Murray. 
but um, the same kind of thing. Like he's a custodian. He uh, he comes in and does and says something weird. Then he leaves and comes back. And and you always look forward to him coming. I don't know if that happens with me, but that was the goal that, that the audience would look forward to, <laughs> to when I came back. I don't, I'm not going to ask anybody if that happened. Don't don't answer. Don't. <laughs> Now, what's funny about this and, and made me just really, and not just camp, like in, in life, when you're a kid, it's always the boys versus the girls, you know? And and so Colin, like, did you ever have, when you were a kid and you think back and go, you know, you had this kind of altercation with a young girl maybe back in your past? <laughs> uh, no, I, I knew from a very early age that girls were something I wanted to be friends with yeah, okay. because, and, and especially in groups, they're terrifying absolutely terrifying <laughs> uh, so i wanted to stay on the good side of uh girls and um i was always i mean you know i was always the friend yeah always there uh the non-threatening um friend yeah <laughs> i'm sorry i'm just i'm just reliving some things uh but okay, go ahead I, but <laughs> no i was always therapy. i was very yeah. I, I i had a lot of women friends i was very um supportive and yeah. um so I, I never got into although looking back i'm sure i had maybe um the sexist attitudes of a, a young a boy growing up in uh the 60s early 60s yeah and then that was beaten out of me by uh some girls yeah <laughs> Now, you guys uh, have known each other, what, for just, I don't know, over 20 years or so, correct? You've well, been we, in the 80s, in yeah. the, the mid-late yeah. 80s. Last yeah. Century. So I understand on this set, you guys shared a trailer. How was that? It was good, but I felt bad because Colin had it first, and I came in and I was like his roommate, but and he had this whole beautiful trailer, and then the guy, <laughs> the weird guy. <laughs> <laughs> comes in and I'm weird. You know how weird I am. And I yeah, I know, like and I, I embrace that. You remind me a lot of Bill Murray and Caddyshack. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was going for. There you oh, go. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, one of the reasons I, I did the movie was because uh, Kevin was in it. And my thing is now I want to do projects that are going to be fun. And Absolutely. Uh, that yeah. was going to be fun. So we got to share. Um, and we were, it's not like we we're in the trailer for hours. No, I know. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. We had to find something that no. Kevin wasn't allergic to to eat. <laughs> we went and did our scene. We put the trailer on everything I was allergic to. It's just uh, what <laughs> weird. So... It was very weird. How yeah. much ad libbing did you guys do in this? I can imagine, you know, you've got two, you two comic geniuses. I mean, come on. Was there a lot of, you know. Well, Colin's uh, the king. He's the best improviser ever. So oh, of course hello. he's going to ad lib. <laughs> Yeah, I, it's really hard to disagree, uh, even <laughs> if you use facts. Um, I think um, we were, uh, both of us um, did the script the way it was written. Yeah. And then Mike, uh, who uh, wrote and directed, was very uh, open. He would go, okay, we got that, now just have fun. Yeah. So, and I can't remember anything that we improvised, uh, although a lot of it's at the uh, after credits yeah yes. um, yeah that was fun that was yeah yeah, yeah. It, it, was, it was fun working with those um the kids and yeah. <laughs> throwing something at them and seeing their eyes just open a little wider and go what what's, what's my cue what's my cue what's yeah. my cue they had to have been in awe of the two of you i am sure like it's got to be fun working with these young up-and-comers i would think they were good too. They were good. Like they didn't have to be good, but, but they were all good. They all seemed like good. I, I seem like uh, like an, uh, like a mean guy that I'm at, like that I'm surprised. They were like good. <laughs> they were good. <laughs> like, I'm better than me. Good. They're, they're I've never heard Jesse before, unless uh, less. What's the show? The Winnipeg zero. show. Less than zero. Less than oh, zero. Yeah. Less yeah. than kind. Kind. Yes. Less than kind. Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, wasn't that? So uh, I knew he was good. good. Yeah, I know, um, I know you guys have other interviews. I got to ask quickly, but uh, Kevin, I am just so damn excited that Kids in the Hall are getting are back together. You're going to have a series on Amazon. Can you tell me about it very quickly? And and is does Colin have a special cameo in the show? And he, well, know? he does now. Now that you pressured me into it. <laughs> Oh yeah, actually, yeah, uh, yeah. We, I think we will be giving a part. I just thought of a part. Yes. Well, I don't know what to say. It's, it's for Amazon. It's eight episodes. It's um, uh, it's sketch comedy again. Uh, but get ready to be disappointed. It can't be as good as our '90s show. We were at the peak of our powers back then. Yes. Now you're going to be able to say, um, you know, when people try to be nice and they go high pitched. Yeah. Uh, how was the kid, new Kids in the Hall show? No, it was good. It was no, no, it was good. It was, and they say no, no a lot. No, no, it was fine. It was good. No, no. They seem like nice people. Leave me alone. Uh, <laughs> 
but, but you guys have seen each other over the years. It's not like you haven't seen each other. Yes, yeah, so we do a tour every two or three years and yeah. things like that. And what, then, was, and what was it like to get together to do this? You know? Well, you know, because we've done things every two, three years, it wasn't that weird. Um, uh, the weird part was that two, three weeks in the writing period, uh, and we had like eight left where, where the, the, the pandemic became famous yes. and then we had to stop ignoring it and we couldn't go to the writer's room. Um, so we, um, we zoomed in the morning. We wrote a lot in our, um, in our uh, separate apartments they got us. There's going to be a lot of sketches about lonely aging men staring out the window wishing they can go out and touch a building. Or like a building in Scott Thompson's case. He's a different cat. He's a different cat. He is, he is. He is. And, and Colin, what, what else is going on with you? I know pandemic makes things so hard for for both of you, I'm sure. But what's, what yeah. do you have? Um, I've, uh, Brad Sherwood and I have been doing Zoom uh, shows for the last month. We have a couple. Yeah. Of, we have one on uh, New Year's Eve. That's been fun. Oh, just, good. You know, oh, wow. Been, I mean, the new Who's Line season starts in January. It's been picked up again for another year. Wow. They haven't filmed since 2019. They just have all these extra. If I could just find a way to stay at home and not work and yet have my stuff appear all the time. Right? It'd be perfect. It would be perfect. <laughs> well, listen, I so appreciate you making my afternoon, uh, gentlemen. It's always a pleasure to talk to you both. And congratulations. This movie is uh, is just it's so so funny you guys are both fantastic and uh, happy holidays to you and your families happy holidays <laughs> thank you so much for your time take care guys thank you. Take see you care. next interview colin oh <laughs> okay